You probably haven't heard of a band called The Village Stompers. This was before soul or R&B or soul or rap or sauce grunge. The Village Stompers only, only did one gig. March the 8th, 1962. Spare room, my, my place. place. Five suburban British boys. Our lineup was Dave, who could play rad blues on the piano. There was Dave, who could play clarinet. There was Dave, Dave who could play nothing but who could wipe his face in exactly the same way as Dave wiped his face. There was Dave, who could play nothing. And there was me, who could play Dave. Dave. Let's get together on Sunday and have a session. When it came over, we all piled into the spare room. Dave got out his clarinet. <laughs> Dave brought some drumsticks. We didn't have any drums. So Dave was on cardboard box. Dave, Dave said he had seen a great guy on Maracas. So we put some pins into a coffee tin for him and I got my mother's nail and stuck it into the side of the table so that it could make a kind of boing. Sound. Then my brother came in and said that he could play the recorder. Dave said, for goodness sake! You don't have recorders in jazz bands. It was okay, because we were a bit short on solo instruments. What are we going to do? Your old petite fleur. Hold it! We could record it. Fantastic idea. I set up our old recording machine and we were away. Clarinet, recorder, comb on paper, car, coffee tin and drawing pins and car inside of table. Boing. And then we got to the end and Dave said, Actually, my brother didn't sound too bad on recorder. And we all said Dave, Dave was fantastic. Then we played it back. It didn't really sound like jazz. We cut the next track. Dave was great on comb and paper <laughs> and sunglasses. I pulled that nail something wild, boing, boing, and my brother played the recorder. What should we do now? If we wanted to play something on our own, we could. Dave said, do you know something, Dave? What? If we had a piano, you could play blues. And Dave said, I know, no, 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 I know I could. So we played back both numbers again. The soaring clarinet, the wailing recorder, the gutsy comb and paper, the urgent cardboard box and sunglasses, the biting coffee tin and drawing pins, and the, <laughs> the nail boing. Then we called it a day. The session was over. What with one thing and another, we never got it together again. Dave took up classroom tables. Dave, Dave bought a hat. Dave met the American at his church. My brother went out and bought a geological hammer. And here's me. There'll never be another band like it. Sunday, March the 8th, 1962. Spare room, my place. Historic. <laughs>